Yo! What's up everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy 859 coming at you again. And I'm coming at you with another knife review. This is uh, the Kershaw Overdrive or OD2. Uh, the first one is like twice the size of this one. This is a tiny little booger here. It's uh, about as long as my middle finger. So, tiny little knife. It is a flipper. And um, let's go ahead and get some, some specs out of the way. The overall length is 5.34 inches. The blade is two and a quarter inches. It is 8CR13 MOV. It says right there, the model number 1770. Lee Williams design. Uh, spear point with a bead blast on it. And it is a hollow grind. The handles are GFN. I'm, I'm guessing that's just glass glass fiber I don't know I really <laughs> glass fiber nylon I don't, I'm not sure it's basically like an FRN and all the other stuff um, it is 1.4 ounces so you guys know I love it there I uh, love the weight on it and it's a flipper but it's a it's a cool little flipper because when you flip it out the flipper uh, disappears basically and that's <laughs> this is my favorite flipper ever because the one gripe that I have about flippers is is when you flip it out it's then gonna have this little notch here and I just don't like it it, it kind of restricts my my finger and my hand moving up on the blade and I, I just don't like it I don't use my knives in a tactical sense so for me to have that um, you know to have that inability to, to choke up on the blade if need be um, I just don't like it I don't like flippers in general but this is awesome it disappears in the uh, the handle. I think that's cool as hell. It's also a little bit different than other flippers too because I don't know I don't know much about the the mechanism here, but uh, I'll show you a little close up here. Um, I don't know exactly how this works, but I can tell you that it's different from flip other flippers because most other ones you need the detent, okay, to work up to the the flipping out motion, but not this knife because I can have the knife at this motion and flip it out. Um, I could have it almost all the way out and, and it'll close or uh, open and, and lock. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know if these, these are directly connected to each other. I'm not sure, but what I do know is there's not many other flippers that when they're just halfway out like that, that you can push it the rest of the way out and it'll actually lock. Uh, by the way, it is a liner lock. So, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if these are um, independent on one another. Like maybe it's connected directly to the blade or something. I'm not sure. I don't really know how the mechanism works. But it is a cool little sucker. I'll tell you that. I have carried it quite a bit. I got it as a gift uh, from a friend. And it was, you know, it was used. But um, when I got it, it actually had some rolls in it. So I did, uh, I took it on the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Um, just you know not a whole lot but uh maybe 10 passes on each side on um uh, on the coarse and the fine stones and now it's it's hair popping sharp it's it's lightsaber sharp now <laughs> um a, another point is well but um <laughs> the point itself uh again like dell from dirty room knives says it's very stabby it is a very acute point i don't know how well that would do uh or well that would go with um some prying it, it might snap off i'm not sure but uh it is very pointy <laughs> so overall I, I love this knife i think it's awesome um if you're a minimalist edc kind of person and you like you know small miniature micro kind of things i think this is right up your alley uh the mark here on the handles i tried to see if um strike anywhere matches would strike off of this and actually does there's enough there's enough texture there it's textured like g10 but it's not um but there's enough texture there that actually will strike a strike anywhere match so that's pretty cool um get you a little close up there of the the texture of the handles but yeah i love this thing if you're into like a micro edc you like um little tiny flashlights and and uh you know like the leatherman squirt or the little the little um uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> I don't remember the, the the Leatherman with the scissors. Uh, the style, maybe? I think it's a style. Anyway, if you like micro uh, EDC items like that, you'll love this thing. Uh, they're not very expensive either. I think they're 
I don't know, $18 or something like that. So not too bad at all for what you get. And uh, with that 8 CR13 MOV, it'll, you know, it, it'll, <laughs> it'll get a lightsaber edge on it. Uh, but it does, it does need some sharpening more than other steels. But anyway, guys, if um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And everybody, <laughs> take your easy.